636 right now, the White House Coronavirus Task Force now saying that Georgia has the highest number of COVID cases per capita, the worst in the nation, echoing two different models we told you about yesterday. Governor Kemp now defending the state's response to the virus. Nick Sturdivant live in Atlanta with those details. Yeah, good morning, Sheba. Governor Kemp insists that's not the entire story and that there are numbers that show that Georgia will turn things around. Now, the latest snapshot of Georgia, according to the Corona, the White House Coronavirus Task Force, shows cases per 100,000 people last week in Georgia, 216, nearly double the U.S. average. Deaths in Georgia per capita last week also doubled the national average. Governor Kemp said other important numbers are improving in Georgia since the peak last month, like new cases, the number of people in the hospital with COVID-19, the percent of tests that are positive, he says, all down in our state. To scare people with one number is not fair to the general public. That is not the only number that Georgians need to look at. And in the statement from the White House task force, it says Georgia's small gains are fragile and statewide progress will require continual, expanded and stronger mitigation efforts, including in all open schools. The epidemic in Georgia remains widespread across the state. Now, the, the White House Coronavirus Task Force and Governor Kemp are asking people that live in these counties that are surging with COVID-19 cases to continue to wear their masks, to also social distance and to comply with the statewide guidelines. Don't let your guard down. Nick, thank you. Here's the latest on infections in our state. The Department of Public Health reporting 2300 new COVID-19 cases yesterday, even though the number of tests plummeted to nearly half of what we would expect. You can find the latest on COVID-19 in Georgia on our 11 Alive app. We have more numbers there in case you want more. We have a special section with daily breakdowns of those numbers and analysis of our state's progress with flattening the curve.